I buy a lot of weird bikes here on the channel, but this is certainly gonna take the biscuit. This is my, whoa, that's not working. Uh, let's try this. This is my GRC RS. I was browsing Marketplace the other night and as soon as I seen this for sale, I knew I had to have it. This is a GRC RX, an Italian two-stroke mini moto. You see, most of the pocket bikes you see for sale throughout Marketplace are cheap Chinese toys fitted with very underpowered engines. This, on the other hand, is a genuine Italian-built race bike. These are sold in both air-cooled and liquid-cooled versions, this one being an air-cooled fitted with a 6.2 horsepower Polini engine. Several other power models were available. The large just being a 14 horsepower water-cooled version. The RX also had a bigger brother, the RR, which was 10% larger. Looking around the bike, it has absolutely brilliant build quality with this cool mini trellis frame. The previous owner upgraded uh, these forks to Stamas 25mm forks. The originals are 22mm. Apparently these tires are like 90 or to replace. These are PMT rain tires. The good thing is though on the rear is a Chinese mini moto tire so it's uh, good to know that these fit these. The only other modifications I really noticed were uh, these red anodized bar clamps and the previous owners also fitted this lovely Paulini very very shiny pipe. So as you can tell this thing is not a cheap toy. This thing was built with the best quality materials available. It's hard to actually convey the size of this thing but it literally looks like a scaled down version of a real motorcycle. So what is the plan with this? Well I always wanted to build something electric and in Ireland we've recently legalized personal powered transporters up to a maximum of 500 watts and I think this is my excuse to try it out. Now there is a couple of exceptions PBDs have to have a maximum unladen weight of 25 kg which I don't think will be a problem with the GRC. It also can exceed the speed of 25 kilometers an hour. So I am going to dip my toes in. I've paid 121 euro for this 1800 watt motor and controller. It's 48 volts but I did hear you can actually overvolt some of these Chinese controllers so once we get it we'll have a look we'll see what we can do what battery we can fit in here. Update time! So two weeks has passed and my motor and controller arrived. Having a closer look at the bike, I basically uh, just mounted up the motor as temporarily as I could, just so I could get the chain in line and we're able to adjust the tension with the original tensioners. I will have to extend the chain, so I'm after ordering a new chain and a new sprocket for the motor. At the moment it's like a, a T11. In terms of a battery and what I can use, I'm thinking about um, one of them triangle e-bike batteries. I think that'll fit in here nicely with the shape we have. It also came with a throttle and these really, really nasty looking grips. So what I've done is just cut these apart. So what we're left is just a nice housing. So I'll be able to fit a, a nice set of rental grips or something to that. I don't know if I'll be keeping the controller in this place, but uh, it actually worked out pretty nice. It fits in there. I was thinking of mounting it to the front near where the radiator would sit just so it gets a bit more airflow. We're also left with the lovely Polini pipe and the lovely small tiny motor. Look at the size of this thing. It only has two mounts, the front here and the rear and uh, just removing this small chain you can see the size different. I think the two of these would actually look nice paired up and on the wall or something as a nice little art piece. Definitely not getting rid of that because uh, I know down the line I probably will end up fitting these back in. So yeah, we're just waiting on a battery, a sprocket and a chain. And I say we're good to go. So I'll update you when everything arrives. And before we go, I also had a little bit of uh, carbon fibre material left over from our previous project. So you know I had to make up a nice little front fender for it. If you want to know how I made that, the full video will be here. And if you want to follow the build, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.